Hello everyone, Dickie Bennett here. Today I have a really neat DIY project for your camera. It is a hot shoe umbrella. It's very simple to make and I've been doing it for a couple years now and I've had a few people ask me about them so I thought I'd just go ahead and do a video and show everyone how I make them. The good thing about it, doing it this way, is you don't have to worry about holding an umbrella if you want to go out and shoot in the rain or if it's real sunny and you want to just keep the sun off of you. It holds itself and uh, you have all your hands free to do what you need to do, all your controls on your camera or whatever. Okay, well let's get at it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, here's the things you're going to need to make this umbrella. First you're going to have to get a little travel umbrella. And the one that I got was by a company called Frog Togs. And I don't think they make this umbrella anymore. But I really like it because it's really light. But what you'll need to really watch out for when you, or what you want to look for when you go to get an umbrella to do this with, is you need one with, you don't want this uh, shaft to be too big because we're going to use this ball head, which you're going to need to get, and the screw on there needs to fit in here kind of tight so when you epoxy it on there, it stays on there really good. So you're going to need a small travel umbrella and you're going to need a ball head. This one is Giotto's and I really like this one because it's uh, pretty good quality. It's not that expensive either. I think around 16 bucks or something like that. And you can probably get one of these at your local camera store and you can order one online. You won't need to screw this on the end because that's going to go into the shaft. And you're going to need one other thing. This is a hot shoe adapter. You can get these on eBay and you're not going to need one of the screws. You're only going to need one. So yeah, you can get these, maybe it's your camera store, local camera store, but you can for sure get them on eBay. That's where I got this. But you're going to have to cut this excess screw off here because it's too long. And it's going to need to be cut down to where it's about a half inch long so that it can fit into the end of this without being too long. It won't, it won't go down all the way. You can't tighten it up on your hot shoe. So when you cut it down, it's going to look like this. See, it's much smaller, much shorter. That way, it can go in here and you can tighten it down all the way. So when you get all said and done, this is what it's going to look like on your umbrella. Now all you have to do is put this into your hot shoe, tighten down your, keep this tight, tighten down your umbrella. Once it's tight, then you can loosen this up and move your umbrella around into any kind of orientation that you might want to do. And then tighten that down and you're good to go. Well, that's about it. I know it's a short video, but it's a pretty simple project. But if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment and I'll get back to you. Only thing that I would like to warn you about, though, is you don't want to use this if it's really windy outside. You might turn your camera into a kite, and that wouldn't be a good thing. So, yeah, get out there in the rain and shoot some pictures. There's some good photo ops out there when it's raining. And uh, if you enjoy this, be sure to leave a, a comment down below. And as always, be sure to subscribe so you'll get my next videos that I have coming out. Okay, take care.